Matt, good to see you. Today we are talking through the four expenses that retirees almost always underestimate. It is incredibly important to nail down those known expenses in retirement so you can create an income plan around them. So the number one cost that we almost always underestimate is, of course, health care. Medicare doesn't cover everything. And long-term care can wipe out your savings if you don't have insurance. That is correct. Long-term care on its own could be about 8,000 a month. And that's just for regular care, yet alone getting into higher levels, levels of skilled nursing care. So 10 grand a month, eight grand a month is pretty common in our area. Uh, that rate's gonna vary depending on where you live, but you do wanna have a long-term care plan. You right. know, if that plan is the kids, they better know about it. You better talk about it ahead of time. And healthcare, when we talk specifically Medicare, think of Medicare like an 80-20 plan. You know, A and B is gonna pay about 80% and then you're gonna be out of pocket 20%. That's why you either get a supplement or an advantage plan to go with that. But even on the advantage plans and supplements, if you do a supplement, you need part D for drug. If you do advantage, the drug is combined generally, MAPD. But those drug plans, there's no one drug plan in there where you can say, that's the best plan of the world. If I get that plan, all my drugs are covered the best. It's not like, you know, I want the most reliable car. I'm just going to get a Toyota. It's not like that at all. Mm -hmm. Every carrier has a different formulary for their drugs. In addition to that, every carrier can have a different formulary for each plan. So I've had people come in my office, Erin, a couple of years ago where she showed me uh, the, the drugs that she was taking. We plugged it, plugged it into the CMS website. The plan she was on was 30 grand a year just for her out-of-pocket cost. And this is, she didn't have the money for that. I looked at her and I said, how are you paying for that? She said, I'm not. Right. Now, Aaron, this is what's crazy. You, you, they sort by price. You could sort by out-of-pocket cost. The, the worst plan for her, over $100,000 a year for her mm -hmm. drugs. And it was a good company. I'm not going to say the names because uh, you know people will misunderstand. But it was a good company, but not for those drugs. In fact, for someone else, that could have been the best plan. So it's very confusing. Very confusing. Uh, reports come out. I just saw one a few weeks ago where... Seniors are having a hard time because of healthcare costs. It's more than you, more than you expect. Right, right. All right. Number two is housing. Even if you own your home outright, you're still going to have expenses. You're right about that, Aaron. As you know, we have two companies here: Vault Insurance and Investments, and then I'm a franchise owner for Base Specific. Basin, we have over 200 companies that we work with on auto and home. And for the last couple of years, it's been what we call a hard market in the property and casualty insurance area. What that means is they're losing money. The insurance companies are losing money because of inflation. And for that reason, for the last year, they've been raising rates left and right. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about 30%, 40%, even 50% for people with no claims, uh, no, no, no tickets, you know, great records. They're raising rates like crazy. And a lot of that is because of catastrophic losses across the USA mm -hmm. and uh, and, and inflation, you know, bumpers that used to cost 200 now cost 2000 Right. And chills that used to cost a couple hundred now cost two, 3000 because of all the sensors. Mm -hmm. So it's a hard go. Be careful about claims. Turn, in, turn them in when you have to. But yes, uh, housing costs, property taxes, it never ends. No, only going higher. Too. Uh, there's, and there's always the repairs, Aaron. There's that, always. The, <laughs> yes. Talk about a roof at 20, 30 grand now, you know. Yes. So. Yeah, got to factor that in. All right, number three, speaking of only going up, it feels that way, taxes. A lot of retirees will still be paying income taxes, and a lot of retirees don't realize that Social Security is taxed. Social Security is taxed, yes. And it is taxed at a different rate you know, based on first dollar, but yes, it is taxed. It does incre increase your adjusted gross income. The other thing to consider is when you hit 73 now, um, now we have uh, RMDs, and you have to take out roughly 4% in year one. Well, that RMD raises your tax bracket too. And then, you know, we have people that call us up all the time. Maybe maybe they made their money in Washington where we have no income tax right now, um, but they retire in a state that does have an income tax. Well, now you have to take out 30% more to net your mo the money that you wanted, you have your federal tax and your state tax. Mm -hmm. You have to factor that in. All right. The only fun expense on this list, Matt, we have travel and leisure. <laughs> Ooh, sounds like a plan after all that. Yeah. Let's go on a vacation somewhere. So travel and leisure, you've worked hard your whole life. Eventually you got to shift a gear. You have that big bucket of money. Let's spend it. But as you know, I mean, if, if you have that big, big bucket of money, you, you've been wise with your money. We do want to plan our vacations accordingly. Uh, but as you know, boy, vacation food is some of the most expensive food you're ever going to eat. 
And um, you're going to want to have some fun while you're there. So you want to book vacation drinks. Plan it out. That's exactly right. Yes. So, yeah. so Take- Matt, what are some tips then to avoid these surprise expenses in retirement? I say the biggest thing is you want to work with someone that's licensed in all areas, especially healthcare and, and Medicare. And, you know, if you re- retire early, you want to work with someone that understands the individual healthcare market. Uh, because if you're retiring at 62, you got to buy an individual health plan in the exchange, whether it's federal or your local state one. I mean, that could be two grand a month for a plan that frankly sucks just to be direct. And it could, it's a whole different world. It's not like what you're used to in the employer world, but we're talking about an extra 25 grand a year in expenses just to have insurance up until you hit retirement. So you want to work with someone that is pretty versed in multiple facets. Right. That would be one of the most important decisions you can make. So Matt, if somebody wants to talk through these expenses with you or talk through more of what their retirement plan should look like, what's the best way to reach you? The best way is by phone, 425-256-3105. And whoever you speak to on the phone can schedule an appointment where I'll give you my undivided attention. Perfect. Well worth it. Matt, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Aaron. 